Hey everyone, Kyle once again, and welcome back to another uh, review for Anime Month. And instead, now we're now, instead of not reviewing a series, but an anime movie. So, and I want to review this uh, for this as I got this because for year for years I've heard about this film, but I never got around to see it. And I and for the years I also heard that how great this film was, how great this film was when it came out, and all the praise that it got and the awards this film got. And after a while, you know, me this is this is me watching it for the first time. Yes, I, I have. This is the first time I've seen this film because, like I said, over the years I've heard about this film but never got around to see it. So. So the first time, this is the first time of me watching it, and and I gotta say, I really enjoyed this film. I think the film, to many people, I think it still it lived it lived it lives up to why the what made this film so great back then. And this is from all the way back in two thousand one. It's been almost well, but what was like in in America it came out in July, I think. But yeah, it'll be nineteen years. God dang. And that is the and that is the film of the highly of the critically acclaimed film, Spirited Away. And yeah, Spirited Away. I enjoy this film. For okay, number one, number one reason why I number reason why I enjoy this film. The animation is beautiful to watch. It is top notch, beautiful beautiful to look at. The animation is really great. And for what the for looking at what the budget was, even in American dollars, in American dollars it's about around nineteen million. In American dollars, and for that animation, it it was really beautiful to look to look at. Number one, okay, number one, number one. That's that's part one though. But yeah, the animation is wonderful in this in this film. Um, and the film, we said when the film came out in, in uh, 2001, it was universally critically acclaimed. It was, critics praised this film so much, and the film was a, well, overseas, it was a huge hit on over, overseas. Sure, it made money, it made money, um, in America as well, and, and of course, in, in, in America... Um, Disney had a hand in this in America. Disney had a hand in this in America, um, especially with uh, Pixar animator John uh, Lester, who I think he directed one of the Toy Story movies, I think, or, or one of the Pixar films. I forget though, but he was in, he was involved in this as well for the English dubbed version as executive producer. And and the film won tons of awards. I mean. If I look, look at the list of awards here, it practically won every single award except for three. It was there was there was three other awards that it, it was um, nominated for but didn't win. But this film pretty much won every single award, and it, including it won an Os it won it won the Academy Award Oscar for Best Animated Movie, which which became um, the first. And only, and only, the first and only film, hand drawn and non English language anime film to win that award. That's a, that's that says a lot, but yeah, but it's like, but only it's the first, you know, also the first anime film to win an Oscar, as well. And I just say, I would say it deserves. I would say it, I would say it does deserve that, because like I said, the animation is beautiful to to look at. And a lot, especially a lot of the big sequences, really l wonderful to look at. And this is actually well made, directed by Heo um, Miyazaki. Yeah, Heo, Heo Miyazaki. And he he really did a great job with this film. And I know this is the studio what was it, right here, um, a studio G uh, Ghibli. That's, that's the studio. Now, um, there's other films that uh, I recognize that, the, well, especially it's the symbol right there. My neighbor Totoro. I have, I 
I I have I do know of that character. Let me see right close over there. Yeah, Totoro. I do have I have heard of that I have heard of that movie. They, especially the especially by the character alone. But I not yet seen it though. Maybe later someday down the road I'll give that a watch too though. But I don't have. But someday later down the road. But I do know that character. But that's for the studio that makes this film, and including my neighbor Totoro. Um, but Spirit Away. Now that I said the the not only the I mentioned but the animation. Um, another one that the the fist of the one thing other thing that the fist of film like a glove is the score by Joe Hish, uh, Hisashi Hisashi Hisashi. Hisashi, oh, that's the person I am. Joe Hisashi. The score fit the film like a glove. It really, if it, it, it fits in with the blend of the animation with also sequences as well. The score is really is really well done as well. Um, especially with some calm moments and some some little intensity moments too. It fits the film like a glove. And um, for the Eng for the English uh, cast. In the English, the English voice cast. Um, I thought the, the the English voice cast does a really good does a really good job, especially out there uh, for uh, David uh, David David Chase, who voices um, Chihiro. Our our lead character here, Chihiro. Now that name was familiar. That sounded familiar when I when I when I heard when I heard her voice. I was like, yes, David Div, 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 Div Chase. She voices Lilo in Lilo and Stitch. She voiced Lilo also in the, the, the first Lilo and Stitch movie. Um, not Stitch has a glitch. Uh, that was Dakota Fanny. But the next one, Leroy and Stitch. And also the animes. And also the, the, the cartoon series of Lilo and Stitch as well. So, oh yeah, that's that's Lilo from Lilo and Stitch. And I also I forgot to mention that she also played um, the girl from The Ring. Um, you know the girl that comes out of the uh, the girl that comes out of the TV. You know the ring. I forgot. I, I completely forgot that was her. That that, that not only she voiced Lila, but she also starred in the ring as well as the girl who comes out of the you know seven days. You know the girl's gonna kill you. It comes out especially when she comes out of the TV. Yeah, that's her. I guess I do like the ring film, but I haven't seen the film forever. I guess that shows I completely forgot about it. You know, but I do like I do like the ring remake as. well. So, but that was her that came as the girl as the ring girl I forgot what was the character's name though who was the girl who died though but that was her so yeah she did a good she did a good job as voicing uh, Chihiro she did, she did a really good job in this uh, in this and so the other English voice you have uh, Jason Mar uh, Jason Marsden um, um, so look at what uh, voice work he's done Yeah, okay, so he voiced, um, he voiced Max in a goofy movie. He voiced Max, um, and as for, he voiced, uh, Kovu in, um, The Lion King 2, Simba's Pride. He voiced Kovu, adult Kovu, not the cub Kovu, but the adult one. So, okay, yeah, so I think he did a good job as, 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 uh, Haku, as this, uh, boy that, um, who, uh, Chihiro meets uh, S uh, Suzanne uh, Pales Paleski Paleste. Uh, mispronounce her name. I'm sorry, she's now passed away back in 2008. Sadly, though, but she uh, voices um the two late the two uh, calls them grannies though. Well, by the end she calls them grannies, but uh, the one who was the one the old lady who runs the bathhouse named uh, Yuba uh, uh, Yubaba, and then Z Z Z Zabina or Zabina. Z Zenabea, Zenaba, mispronounce the names. Zenaba and Yub Yubaba. They're the two. One is the, uh, the the one is the old lady who runs the bathhouse, and the other one who runs like later down, which you see later. The, which they're identical twins, but she did a good voice job voicing both because they sound the same. Um, and a uh, Kamaji who's like this a uh, spider um, this a uh, spider spirit. That works the boiler room, and which is actually he passed away not that long ago. Um, uh, David Allen, uh, David Odin Steers, yeah, he died a couple of years ago. 
And, uh... Yeah, another thing from Lilo and Stitch. He's the guy who voiced Jumba, the guy who created Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. Yeah, so Jumba, he voices, uh, Kamaji, the, the spider one, that... The spider spirit in this. It's like, oh, like, oh that's alright. He voiced, he voiced Jumba from Lilo and Stitch. So, you know, like, a Diva Ch Diva, uh, Diva Chase and, uh... Yeah, they got Lilo and they got Jumba in there. <laughs> um... Another one is next. Uh, I have this character, Lynn, voiced by uh, Susan Egan. I'm not too. I'm not too familiar with her. Oh yeah, she voiced. She voiced Meg in uh, Hercules. Yeah. yeah, that's right. She voiced. She voiced Meg in Hercules. I thought she. She did fine too. Um. You have a you have a, 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 a voice appearance by John Ratzenberger, voice you know, for voicing in Pixar move in Pixar films like voicing Ham from Toy Story, the Underminer, and the, at the end of The Incredibles. Um, and of course John Ratzenberger also famous you know, for starring in the TV show Cheers. He has a voice role in this as well. Um, and even for the other one who plays, uh, uh, Chihiro's, uh, parents, well, mainly the father, Lauren Holly voices the mother, I'm not too familiar with her if I, if I look it up, Laura, Lauren Holly. Oh, yeah, that's right, she voiced, not voice, she starred in Dumb and Dumber, Dumb and Dumber as Mary Swanson, yeah, as the woman that, uh, Jim Carrey was going all the way out for, you know, driving all the way to Aspen, yeah, so... So the uh, Mary Swanson, so they so she was from Dumb and Dumber. She voices a uh, Chihiro's mother, and the father is actually play of, which another one I was oh, so, sounding so familiar is actually voiced by, the father is voiced by Michael Chicklets. I was like, that's Michael Chicklets. So he he voices a uh, Chihiro's father. I was like, oh wow, that's Michael Chicklets. So I thought, wow, I did not know that. And to me, actually, that's he's the only well-known. Um, he's the only well-known uh, actor in the voice cast that I know of. Yeah, I maybe mean, Michael. So Michael Chiklis, I thought he did a good job as the voicing of the father. Although he was only most in the beginning, but until the, the end of the movie. But still, but yeah, I like Michael Chiklis. But he did a good job as voicing the, as the father as well. So, although the voice cast uh, was uh, was. Was very was very solid in this film, but 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 Deva, but De, uh, Deva Chase um she did a uh, good job as Chihiro. So as the story is, it's basically in a nutshell, it's like a version a Japanese version of Alice in Wonderland in in a sort of way. You know, so a, a girl into this strange world and has to find a way to get back home. It's like that in a nut in a nutshell, like a version of Alice in Wonderland. But the story is you have Chihiro, who, um, who who is ten years old. Her and her parents they are moving to a new they're moving they're moving to a new home. And on the way they uh, they on the way to the move up on the way to their new house they well the father wants to take a shortcut. He stops this old building, so they decide to get out and um. <sighs> um to check it out, this old building. They go through the tunnel, and it's actually an abandoned amu amusement park. And the father, Michael Chicklets, <laughs> smells something, and so the father and the mother they eat. The, they they found some food, and they eat it. And then Chihiro, she uh, come across this uh, this bathhouse, and she meets this boy named. Uh, uh, Haku tells her to get out of here, and when she starts leaving, she finds that her, pa her parents her parents have been turned to pigs, and then realizes now it's now too late because she is now because it's now nighttime. She is now in the uh... well, I guess I say that it's not the spirit world. I would probably say, but um, it's like in a different world. But there's like spirits, but there's spirits there. Like she sees this boat coming in. She starts becoming see-through, but until a Haku gives her gives her something to make her, you know, solid, you know. 
and she tells he, he helps her gets his job uh, to get a job or um, ask um, Kamaji the spider the spider one that's which further he had, he had the which the spider one the spider uh, spirit I guess to say he, he at first uh, when I saw his face he kind of reminded me of Doctor Robotnik. You know, from from um the video game doctor, the video games version of Doctor Robotnik. You know, with had this big mustache and these dark glasses and bald head. At first, I thought that was like, well, Doctor Robotnik's mustache was brown though, but it was his here. It's black though. But at first, I was like, is that is that the face of Doctor Robotnik attached to a spider? <laughs> but that's what I thought. That's what that was my initial uh, my initial thoughts was. <laughs> so. And he sees, and they have these little. He has these little helpers that throw these rocks in there. And she like kind of helps though. So this one ro one rock that's heavy, and all these other little guys they want her to do it, but no. And uh, Lynn, who's kind of like the only human-looking uh, spirit there, uh, helps her out to get this, to get a job by going to the the person who owns this bathhouse, Yubaba. And enough for, enough for she uh, looking around while on the way she sees the inside of the bathhouse all these different uh, creatures spirits and one is clearly this big radish spirit <laughs> and then she be meets with Yubaba who want tells her that she wants a job at first she says no and like you humans human like you don't belong here or this and that until she finally gives in and uh, gives her a job by signing this contract. And uh, gives her a new name by the name of S saying uh, your your name is now Sin. And gives her some new clothes and his sleeping quarters. <sighs> Excuse me. Um. And then uh, meets with Haku, Haku in the morning. To see if I see where her parents is, but I uh, can't tell which is which because they're all the same pigs. This is a whole pig pen full. And at first, she almost forgot who her her original name was, thanks to this car that she had from earlier, so that she wouldn't forget her name. Even uh, Haku had a re had a real name too, though, but he can't remember. So now it basically she has to uh, work in this bathhouse, and then uh, Lynn and her had to clean this big giant bathtub and then when it went the one thing leads to another that uh, well first I'm um, like um like uh Chihiro she sees this uh this uh creature right here at first it all goes goes uh uh at first so she sees that thing which later is called no face and then suddenly there's this big this big uh, this big sludge thing appears, and everyone's like all scared, and because it stinks so bad, so it gets into this big tub, which I got first. Uh, I got I had to admit it does look like a big pile of shit, basically, because that's what that's what it looks. It looks like it looks like a big pile of, of liquid shit. <laughs> that's what this thing looks like, though. But that's what that's what I thought was, but um. But she perseveres to, you know, get this thing clean despite being covered in crap. And then she sees that um, there's this thing that they want everyone gets everyone to pull this thing out. And when they pull this, first it was a bicycle, and all this junk starts pouring out of it, even little bits of of gold here and there. But it's actually, but it's actually a river spirit, and it's clean, it's happy, and it leaves, and. Afterwards, then you get this creature here, which is called No Face. Starts eating and giving everybody it can produce like a whole bunch of gold, and if it doesn't, it starts eating. A, it eats a couple of people, but then later spits it out. And and then during during this instance, um, Chihiro uh, sees that, uh, that Haku as a dragon being attacked by these little pieces of attacked by these pieces of paper flying pieces of paper and he's badly injured bleeding and he, he, she wants to help him 
and and also at the time when um meets this this, this giant baby that uh, uh, Yubaba is carrying this this big baby, and then he meets with Yubaba's uh, twin sister, identical twin sister, who looks exactly like Yubaba, named uh, Zaniba, and turns like the baby into a mouse and this other crow one that looks like her into a fly and Haku, Haku is injured goes back with um falls down towards um Kamaji and it gives her the gives um um Jiro gives her this thing that the river this thing that the river spirit uh gave her this thing to chew was supposed to like to heal, and um, and Kamaji gives also another thing to help on ha Haku as well, and so he wants, and which actually he, st he stole, he took this this gold uh, seal, which it was a golden seal. I think that's where the gold came from, I think, and um, and of course there's a black slug and she steps on it. That's what um been spell on him, and. And this spell on him that was like war because as you know once again like I see in other movies it's the power of love, <laughs> the power of love uh, conquers all, even including spells. Um, but then he goes to tug, uh, she goes up and handles the no face character creature, gives her that thing that heals from the river uh, spirit, spits at the other people and gets like comes back down to its normal size now, and. Then she gets a, um, a Kamaji gave her, gave her these train tickets to go to Swamp Bottom where Zaniba lives all the way. So, like, the the baby was a mouse and the crow was like a fly go with her, including No Face. No Face goes with her on the train and gets all the way there and meets with uh, Zaniba. Um, tells her about, about uh, Haku. And. Which Haku is on her way. Haku all goes all the way there. He's all better, and gives the what they also the, the Zeba gives her this um head this hand the the headband thing you know to put on her head around her ponytail. And so they fly back, and No Face stays with Zaniba. And but well, Haku was talking to her talking to uh, Yubaba earlier that. Uh, she wants, um, she wants, he wants Chihiro to go back to the human world with her parents, and on one, uh, uh, tear up once, she wants, he wants, he wants her to tear up the contract to let her go free with her parents back to the human world, but, uh, she, she says she will, but get her one condition, she'll give her one final test. So she flies all the way back. And greet and everybody, all the people around her greets her, you know, and and then even the even the big baby first didn't like her first, but likes her now. Tells uh, Mama to stop this, and Moses, uh, Yubaba says a deal's a deal. And at that first, I, you know, I, I like the part where everybody around her, all the people from the staff members, they're all going boo, and then you know, she goes quiet. <laughs> I thought that was kind of fine. Where they all go boo and they go quiet because <laughs> they want her to leave. <laughs> but even though they liked her, they not they like her now. But they want her to leave. But this because of the deal. But still, um, but even despite all that, they, she still wants to do the test. And she said that she want the test is guess which thing with these pigs are your parents. And she guesses correctly by saying none of these are my parents. And the contract poofs away and. And her parents are already out there in the human world, back to the way they were before. And she says goodbye to everybody. And even um, what to mention uh, before as they're fl as they're flying back to the bathhouse on um, she's flying on Haku. And she had these little flashbacks about um her when she was much uh, smaller. And she remembers that uh, he saved her. That uh, his na his name real name is Kohaku River. He's the Kohaku. He, his name is the Kohaku River. That's who he is. He's the spirit of the Kohaku River. So he remembers who he is, and then before he turns back into human form, 
And so after that, she t- he takes her back to where where it all started, and he tells her that you will see her again, right? And and but uh, but for now, she te- he he tells her to run out there as quick as she can and don't look back. At one point, she was tempted to look back, but she doesn't. She meets back with her parents, back through the tunnel, back where where the car her their car was. And then she, and then she looks back at the tunnel, and then she gets back in the car, and her family drive up to the new house. So yeah, Spirited Away. I think this is a, a is a. I can see why this is this is still uh, hailed as by many people and critics say it's one of the greatest ones of all time, animated movies of all time. But I I I do enjoy this film. I can see why the film got so much praise, and I can definitely see why. Um, if when the film came out, like I said, it got so much praise. It has a it has a ninety seven percent Rotten Tomatoes, it has a um, an eight point six in IMDb. Very high rating, especially a ninety seven percent Rotten Tomatoes and an eight point six in IMDb too. And the film made, like I said, the film made a lot of money when it came out. And I thought it was like I said, the animation is beautiful to watch, very beautiful to look at. The score, like I said, it fits the film like a glove, mixing with this with the, the scenes that it goes with. Um, I th- I thought the voice cast uh, did really uh, did a really good, really good job, especially with the uh, Dave uh, Chase as a uh, Chihiro. I thought she did a wonderful job. Probably I would say after watching this, maybe I'll say I like I like Lilo and Stitch though. But after watching this, I think. Maybe I should give her voice a little more than uh, her voice in Lilo, I should say. But I guess because I think with her, with her well, all the way her character goes in this, how she voiced her character in this movie, maybe that's why. But I said I like Lilo and Stitch, and I do like the re- remake. But I did not—I completely really forgot that she was she was that girl in the ring. Um, but. Yeah, the voice has especially especially Michael Chiklis. It was fun. It was cool to hear his voice in this movie as the as the father, Michael Chiklis. It was cool to hear his voice in this. But the other voice cast is, does a really good job. At least it's uh, uh, Jason Marsden as uh, Haku, uh, Susan uh, uh, Palest Palest Palest. Palest Pal- Mispronounced the name though, but she did a good job as both the voice of uh, Zinaba Zin- 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 and Yubaba. Uh, Susan Eaton as a uh, Lynn. Um, even John, even John Roxburgh had a voice. Like I said, he had a voice role in this. Um, Tara Strong, who voices the big baby. <laughs> even uh, Richard, uh, uh, Richard Bumess, Bumpus, who voiced a uh, both well, me. I mostly know he voiced Squidward from SpongeBob. He had a voice role in this as well as a uh, foreman. A foreman, I say. So hey, oh yeah, the, oh the voices, the voice of Squidward had a voice role in this as well. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, Lauren Holly's the mother. Michael Chiklis is the father. They both do. They were they both good at two. <clears throat> but yeah, Spirit Away. I think it still. I think it still lives up. Uh, how it was back? How uh, was back then? Maybe not. To, maybe maybe not to some people though. But I think it still does. I can see why it's still the film was still. To this day, I think it still gives a lot of praise for, and I'm glad I I'm glad I, I'm glad I saw this. So because I thought it was like I said, the animation for this film was really beautiful to look at. That's one that's one of the best uh, things about this film is the animation, the voice cast, the character designs, score, um, and the film. And uh, the film is about, about with take out and credits is about two hours long. I think it could have just cut down just a little bit on that though for this kind of movie. I think it the could have been a bit more shorter. Maybe if there was a nitpick, I would probably say I think it could have been a a bit of a shorter movie. I think to me, I don't think this didn't need to be two hours. That's just me though. But I just I just felt that I did. I, to me, it felt that it should not have been two hours. I think it could have been just at least about ninety minutes. But for the film itself though. But that's that's the personal that's, per, that's a personal preference though. I I think the but the pacing itself I thought was fine. There was nothing there was nothing wrong with the pacing for me though. But I think it felt like it should not have been like two hours. You get what I mean? But yeah. 
Spirit Away, I think it deserved the Oscar as well as all the uh, the awards it got because nowadays you don't see the films like these to be nominated for um, well Japanese anime films like this. Because I, I I did I don't remember I don't recall my neighbor Totoro getting um, nominated. So I don't remember though, but I almost remember this film being known for the Oscar winning the Oscar. So, yeah, but what can I say? Um, so, yeah, off the first the first time you've seen this film, I enjoyed the film. Spirit Away, I think, is really a, go a really a good movie. Um, although, I, uh, I'm not going to say that it's over... I'm not going to say it's overrated. I, I won't jump on the... I'm not going to jump... I'm not going to jump on the bag wagon saying it's overrated. But I still think it's still a really good movie. I'm not. I'm not gonna overhype it. I'm just saying it's a. It's a really good. It's a really good movie. And I'd say it's probably a very. It's one of the more beautifully animated movies I've watched. I would say that it's very. That's the biggest positive I can say. It's definitely beautifully animated. The last time I used the word beautifully animated is last time was was um Guardian Legend of the Guardians the Owls of Gahul. Like the animation I I said before in that my review those the animation was very beautiful to watch. It was very beautiful looking with the lighting and the dark tone mixed with that. Yeah, Legend of the Guardians is the Owls of Kahul. It's very beautiful. The, anima the animation was that was beautiful to watch. I would say the same thing for this. If I describe like anime films, I would say are beautiful to watch. I would put this and still Legend of the Guardians, the Owls of Kahul. I still say about that film, how I say about that film. I reviewed that a couple of times back then, so yeah. But Spirit Away, and it was well directed by Hayao uh, Miyazaki. Score, pacing, voice cast, animation. I don't want to say how I can say about this film. I really enjoyed Spirit Away. I'm glad I. I'm glad I saw it. I'm glad that the thing. I think it still lived up to the praise it still it did back in 2001. Can't believe it's been almost next year. It'll be 20, it'll be 20 years, man. But yeah, so that's my my review of Spirited Away. I definitely give it a thumbs up. Definitely do Deser deserves that. If I had to rate it, if I had, I don't do five star ratings hardly that much. But if I would give it, I would probably give it at most four. I think that's that's still very solid enough. Maybe at most four and a half. That's a, that's a, that's a, maybe at most I give it four stars. If I would, because I think it's still is it's still a very solid movie. Because no film ever in history is it gonna say that it's gonna be the best movie ever or it's perfect in every way. It's all subjective how we see things about films. So I think it's solid enough for me to give it a solid four stars. I would say, but I hardly ever do that enough. I hardly do the four the the star the five star ratings. I don't do that because. I just think it's because it's all it's all subjective how you rate your movies, but I would give this a solid four if if I had to though. I think that's very fair enough. But it's like I said, it's still a very good movie. Very, I said very beautiful to watch. But anyway, that's my review on Spirit Away. I definitely give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up for this. But thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next uh, review for Anime Month. Later.